while walking through a shopping mall or filling petrol to your vehicle or even the smallest retailer like tea seller or local vendor you probably notice various qr codes in their wall saying scan to pay these are the codes you can scan and pay directly from your phones have you ever thought about how it all works the answer lies in the unified payment interface a complex process made simple with advanced technology do you ever wonder how api the revolutionary payment system in india came to be it is a story of series of development collaborations and clear objective to create a uniform and affordable payment system that promote financial inclusiveness the reserve bank along with the national payments corporation of india has launched the unified payments interface it is india's largest digital payment network and the world's fifth largest by volume now upi is going global i think today we can confidently say that the revolution is upon us UPI has revolutionized digital payments. You can send money to other people as easily as send text messages. The ecosystem has been built on the platform that covers the entire country, be it rural landscape or even the location where there is no data connectivity. UPI transaction reached an all-time high at 803 crore transaction worth 12.98 lakh crore and the number of bank was live on UPI network was 385. The value of UPI transaction has been constantly increasing each month. reflecting that the network adoption and transaction continues to grow the culture of digital payment that gained momentum in the last couple of years is expected to soar higher in this decade there have been remarkable innovations and initiatives that have changed the way india transacts it all started with the formation of national payment corporation of india in 2009 with the goal of integrating all payment mechanism in the country with the guidance of rbi and support from indian bank association npci became the umbrella organization for all little payment system bringing together leading banks and creating a, a standardized process for all digital payments the first step taken by npci in this direction was the standardization simplification and implementation of national finance switch nfs for all the banks in this country the smooth experience that you had in atm was made possible by nfs the backbone of largest domestic atm network in the country nfs set the common standard and enabled digital interoperability between all the banks in the country on 14 december 2009 When NPC took over the NFS ATM network from IDRBT which then had 37 members and connected about 50000 ATMs fast forward to 2022 NFS has grown exponentially NPC took next innovative step by using the interoperable layer of NFS to create immediate payment system IMPS IMPS facilitates simple safe and instant payment option over the mobile phone and offers 24 by 7 payment delivery system with NPCI as the central routing agency prior to imps banks had rtgs and neft for digital transactions however this system had limitations such as high transactions value delayed settlement in batches and fixed operating time hours which made them unsuitable for a small ticket digital retail payments by march 2011 rbi found out that in india only 6 non cash transactions happen every year for individual citizen while 10 million retailers accept card based payment Millions of families have no access to any form of banking. There is also problem to tackle black money and corruption that mostly happen in cash. In 2012, RBI unveiled a four-year vision statement that aimed to establish secure, efficient, inclusive, interoperable, and authorized payment and settlement system in India as a part of green initiative to reduce paper uses in domestic payments. UPI was formally inaugurated by then RBI governor on 11 April 2016 and launched for public use on 25 August 2016. We need a revolution in banking in India. I think today we can confidently say that the revolution is upon us. The year 2016 to 17 were a turning point for the payment system in India with radical changes in policies, introduction of new payment methods and rapid changes in user preferences. On 8 November 2016, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced 500 rupee and 1000 rupee currency notes presently in use will no longer be legal tender peak citizens have again lined up outside atms even before the bank branches have opened ye rajdhani delhi ka hal hai notbandi ke panchve hafte logo ko paison ke liye kadi mashakkat karni pad rahi hai जहां बैंक की लाइन में लगे लोग अचानक सब खो बैठे और फिर इन्हें संभालने के लिए पुलिस को करना पड़ा लाठी चार्ज ज्यादातर एटीएम पर नो कैश का बोर्ड लगा है और इक्का दुक्का एटीएम खुले हैं तो वहां भीड़ ज्यादा है 86% ऑफ द करेंसी नोट्स वर रेंडर्ड वर्थलेस ओवरनाइट 
For over two months, there were shortages of cash, leading to the long queues in banks and ATMs for limited new currency notes available. Business and trade almost came to stand still, and the GDP grew through decreased. In spite of rapid introduction of new currency notes, people were in search of easier, faster, and cash equivalent measure of payments. This scarcity of cash hastened migration toward digital payments, which led to the emergence of mobile based digital wallets that gained rapid adoption among the tech savvy population. The uses of mobile wallets got massive growth in users during that time. One of the companies that backed the opportunity was Paytm. To ab ATM nahi. Paytm karo. The marketing strategy of the company worked and it reached even the smallest retailers like tea seller and ice cream vendor who were tapped as a point of contact with consumers who needed a cash free payment mode. Other wallets too followed and a lot of mobile wallets experienced growth in a number of users in 2017. While mobile wallet initially dominated the market, banks have started to catch up by launching their own UPI apps. With almost every nationalized bank in India start launching their own UPI app to capitalize on growing digital payment. The RBI data shows e-wallets including Paytm, MobiQuick, FreeCharge and others saw a loss in their market share. The struggle of mobile wallets come in direct proportion to the unprecedented growth of UPI. Although UPI was launched in August 2016, Way before demonetization, it could not tap the number of customer as mobile wallet did at the time of demonetization. Unified Payment Interface (UPI) is a real-time payment system. It is designed to enable peer-to-peer -peer interbank transfer and payments to merchants through a single two-click factor authentication process without requiring any information about the beneficiary bank account except a VPA. So, what is a VPA? To make a payment transaction, the source and destination bank account details are essential. However, with UPI, user can create a unique virtual payment address to represent their bank account detail in a simplified form. Virtual payment address is also known as UPI ID, which is a combination of unique name and name of payment service player PSP. When a transaction is initiated, the PSP address translation algorithm decodes the VPA into actual bank account details. UPI promotes cashless transaction, eliminating the need to go to the bank branch for every transaction. One can easily transfer money and make payments through mobile application without waiting in a long queues or check clearance in a bank. Since its inception in August 2016, UPI has experienced tremendous growth in terms of user base, transaction volume, and value. Currently, 305 banks are live on UPI platform, and 60 PSP UPI apps are available on App Discovery platform. The introduction of Veeam app and Google Pay, now known as Google Pay, helped. to boost the uses of UPI and even WhatsApp has integrated UPI best payment feature on their app from its launch in 2016 to 17 UPI recorded 1.8 crore transaction worth 6947 crore the following year the value of UPI transaction jumped to 1 lakh crore and in 2018 to 19 it grew roughly by 700% to cross 8.76 lakh crore As of January 2023, UPI transaction had reached an all-time high of 803 crore transaction worth 12.98 lakh crore. In the pandemic, when social distancing was the most critical norm. Aaj raat 12 baje se pure desh mein dhyan se suniye. Sampurna desh mein sampurna lockdown hone ja raha hai. Unified payment interface was like a godsend. The instant real-time payment system has turned out to be best financial innovation post independence in India. Everyone now accepts to pay from a cab driver to wallet parking, mall access to toll payments, electricity bill payments to LPG bookings. But why? Due to its simple, innovative, inclusive, and individualistic features. Paying and receiving is as easy as single click or swipe from user preferred app. The UI UX has been enhanced and simplified for mass adoption. Integration with Bharat Bill payment system for recurring bill payments has been crucial for creating an innovative platform. UPI is not limited to one app. The interoperability of UPI demonstrates that once a user has signed up on UPI, they can easily send money and transfer it to anyone through UPI system. There are two leading players that dominate the UPI market: Google Pay and PhonePe. In terms of value, PhonePe again took the top spot by capturing 50% of the total value in January 2023. Google Pay was in second spot, whereas Paytm was on third spot. The rest of fintech player and bank accounted for remaining market. With UPI, merchants do not require expensive POS machine to collect digital payment through cards. Merchants display their unique UPI QR code, which the customer can scan through a mobile phone and make the payment with the amount being credited instantly. Most consumers and merchants in India prefer using UPI for digital transaction because of zero MDR or any other charges. MDR plays a crucial role in any company decision regarding choosing the payment gateway service provider. 
MDR is a fee or percentage a merchant has to pay to the payment gateway service provider. Typically, the fee is around 1.8% for the most payment methods like card and wallets. However, the MDR for UPI is zero, meaning if you purchase something worth 100 rupees via UPI, merchants get the same amount without any reduction. At present, India had 692 million active internet users. According to the report by the Internet and Mobile Association of India, the country will have 900 million internet users by 2025. Government schemes like PM Vani and Bharat Net, Geo Internet Revolution have equipped Indian with high-speed internet data and lowest tariff plans. Geo's data, voice, video and the full bouquet of Geo's application and content will be available for everyone absolutely free. Till 31st December 2016. Access to a smartphone was a barrier decades ago. The disruption in the smartphone markets in the last few years have resulted in explosive growth. To make UPI payments more inclusive for every Indian, keeping in mind that a limited number of population still cannot afford a smartphone, NPCI has facilitated UPI payments without a smartphone. The Star 99 has service has been launched to take banking service to every common man across the country. This functionality was launched along with Veeam on 30 December 2016. Banking customers can avail this service by dialing a star 99 has on their mobile phones and transact through an interactive menu displayed on their mobile screen. This is done to bring social and financial inclusion and to support who do not own a smartphone. As one more step forward in making UPI payment methods accessible to feature phone users, the RBI launched a UPI service named 123 Pay. के लिए कई फीचर फोन आधारित पेमेंट समाधान भी होंगे और वे आसानी से डिजिटल पेमेंट कर सकते हैं। To streamline the foray of UPI into international market, NPCI has launched its dedicated international subsidiary, NPCI International, on 3rd April 2020. Many countries want to establish their own real-time payment system and domestic card schemes. NPCI International Payment Limited can assist them with licensing consulting service with its extensive knowledge and experience in building real-time payment system to meet the need of fast-growing global business. NIPL got into partnership with European Payment Facilitator Worldline to enable payment through UPI. Under this partnership, Worldline QR code-based payment system will allow merchants point-of-sale system in Europe to accept UPI payments through Indians using their mobile phones. Earlier, NIPL had signed an agreement with Singapore-based Liquid Group to enable UPI QR code payments in 10 countries. The first foreign country to adopt UPI is Bhutan, which adopted UPI standards for its QR code deployment and enabled Bheem UPI QR West payment in partnership with NPCI International Payment Limited and Royal Monetary Authority in July 2021. However, Nepal was the first foreign country to deploy UPI for person-to-person, person-to-merchants and cross-border payments in February 2022 in collaboration with Manam Infotech and Gateway Payment Service. Beside these agreements, UPI has penetrated into the payment landscape of Singapore, Malaysia, UAE, UK and Oman. India has in talk with 30 countries regarding UPI for going global through partnerships and collaboration with other countries and payment systems for the large working population and students abroad, enabling UPI for international transaction has significant advantage. India had received $89.4 billion of remittance in 2021, according to the World Bank report which made India the top recipients globally. To save the cost borne by Indians living abroad while sending money back home, NPC is planning to move 32 million expatriate population from SWIFT to UPI. From 30 April 2023, international mobile numbers from these 10 countries will be able to access UPI transaction facility. It will be available through NRE and NRO accounts. These facilities may be extended to other countries in future. The 2022 Russia-Ukraine war and removal of Russian banks from SWIFT made and development of alternative all the more important for Indian policymakers. Global acceptance and adoption of UPI would reinforce an overdue genesis, pulling down the cost of cross-border remittance. In a revolutionary move, RBI announced that it would allow linking credit card with UPI. Initially, this facility is only available to rupee credit card users. Currently, these four banks are available to link rupee credit card with UPI. On the Bheem app, customer can link and then be able to make the payments to a merchant through a scanning UPI QR code. Other apps are also enhancing their platform to enable linking. Credit card linkage with UPI means you will be not required to hand over the plastic cards to merchants to be used in swipe machine. Despite a surge in digital transaction in the financial system, currency circulation data was reported an all-time high in February 2023. 
cash circulation in public nearly doubled in six years since note ban. However, soon after demonetization, currency circulation fell precipitously of low about 9 lakh crore on 6 January 2017. According to RBI data, currency circulation in value term soared from 17.74 lakh crore on 4 November 2016 to 32.42 lakh crore on 23 December 2022. So why is cash still king in India? Cash is still king in India due to a variety of reasons. One of the primary reasons is that a significant portion of Indian population does not have bank accounts or digital payment method, so therefore they rely on cash for daily transaction. Additionally, there is still lack of trust on digital payment method due to the concern about security, fraud and reliability. Moreover, cash is widely accepted across the country and also offers certain level of anonymity that some people prefer, particularly for high value transaction due to prevalence of black money or undeclared income. Cash is often used to bribe government officials, politicians and law enforcement officials. The money is not reported to the government and used to obtain favors or influence decisions. Many people in India underreport their income to avoid paying taxes. They may receive cash payments for their goods or services and not declare that income to the government, keeping the money outside of the formal banking system. High dependence on cash bring its own set of problem of production, storage, cash management, cost of currency note, use of fake currency, and most importantly, lack of trail of transaction, which leads to tax evasion, corruption, and black money. These problems are bound to be amplified as the economy grows. While digital payment continue to surge, cash remain an equal catalyst in bridging the financial divide and driving empowerment for the masses. And even though cash is still king, data from Ministry of Electronics and IT shows that digital transaction payment have significantly increased over the year. With every good, there is a bad attached to it. While the convenience of paying with just few taps on your phone is undeniable, it is important to be aware of potential risk involved. From internet outages to cyber attacks, relying solely on digital payment can sometimes result in lost time or even lost money. As India continues to embrace the digital revolution, it is crucial to stay vigilant and stay informed about the security threats that come with it. Scammers in India use creative methods to deceive people through UPI cyber frauds. They create a sense of urgency and target people who are vulnerable due to lack of technical know-how. More than 1.4 lakh UPI fraudulent activities were reported on the National Cyber Crime Reporting Portal during the first and second quarter of 2022 as per the Ministry of Home Affairs. To avoid becoming a victim of cyber crime, users must be wary of suspicious messages or emails and avoid sharing sensitive information with others. Updating security softwares regularly and refraining from downloading apps and software from untrusted sources is also advised. For UPI, it is recommended that do not share UPI pain. In case of any fraudulent activity, users should contact their bank immediately and report the incident. Agar kuch sawal ho, se jaan lo. The Indian government has set up an online portal to receive complaints related to cyber crime. This portal can be used to report any incident of cyber fraud. Just six years ago, India had a high propensity for using cash for high value transactions. But UPI has succeeded in being a viable alternative and promoting cashless society. UPI has created a secure, truly interoperable, inexpensive user interface for payments, coming close to mimicking hard cash as any digital payment system can. India's mass success of UPI is a global case study.